I watched all of Craig's Bond films and discovered James Bond's secrets to legendary style. I started with Casino Royale 2 Disc Collector's Edition and I realized that there is a powerful style secret hidden across all of the movie's outfits. Can you also see it? Well, the answer can be summarized by my favorite quote of all time. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. That's right, Casino Royale's style secret is simplicity. You see, most guys think that you need complex style to look good, but this couldn't be any further from the truth. In fact, since I simplified my style a year ago, my style has never been better because instead of trying to spin five plates, I'm just focusing on spinning one. Of course, it's going to be easier and I'm going to be more successful. My life is much better because of it. And if you commit to simplicity, yours probably will too. But somebody whose life isn't better because of it is James Bond, who gets betrayed, shoots Mr. White and brings us into Quantum of Solace 2 Disc Special Edition because I'm special. Everybody's favorite movie in the entire world. It's all over the shop. I mean, it is a mess and a half of a film. Now, I immediately knew the style secret hidden in this movie because I've had it in the back of my mind for years. And it's something crazy that I barely hear anyone talking about. You see, we all know clothing should fit properly, but what separates the fit of this from the fit of this. To me, the one on the left hangs much better, which looks so much more elegant. And this is Quantum's underrated style secret. D R A P E. Say it with me. Drape. Yeah, the truth is, Optimizing your wardrobe for clothing that drapes well, in my opinion, is like God tier style advice because it makes such a visual difference and because most men aren't doing it. But how can you do it? Well, there are two main things. Firstly, the clothing has to work well with gravity. And secondly, you need enough spare fabric in the actual item for it to drape well. And on top of those, a physique with strong shoulders and a smaller waist provides an easier frame for clothing to hang off and will massively help things. But that's not the full picture because Skyfall holds the next style secret, which is best summarized by the beautiful Naomi Harris. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Now you might be thinking, how does that describe a style secret? Well, if you look at any outfit from Skyfall, you'll probably be able to notice a trend. You see, though this film was released all the way back in 2012, all of these outfits look like they could be worn today, which is why wearing timeless clothing is James Bond's Skyfall style secret. And you can use this extremely powerful secret in one main way. You see, a couple of days ago, I was going through a bunch of my old clothing, but I kept finding items that now fit me and are now in my actual wardrobe. And the only reason that I was able to do this is because the items themselves were timeless. This means that you can use timelessness as a criteria when you are buying clothing to build a wardrobe that always looks great and is protected from the passage of time. And speaking of timelessness, Spectre is the next movie, which in my opinion is one of the most timeless James Bond movies out there as it will always suck. But jokes aside, I was 15 when Spectre came out and I still remember the goosebumps in the cinema watching that final scene. But one of Bond's main challenges in this film is the wide array of settings. However, Bond manages to look good in all of them. 
But how does he do this? Well, he's extremely deliberate in his clothing choices. And the most iconic example of this is this Tom Ford jacket that he wears in the Austrian mountains. And this jacket has become so iconic because of Spectre's style secret, which is dressing to the occasion, also known as function. You see, I know you want to be the best dressed guy around, so you need to make sure that the function of your clothing matches the scenario that you're in. And this spans both practical functionality, like climate, and social functionality, such as getting your dress codes right. And if you're a fan of the channel, you'll know that function is so damn important, it's part of my core four style elements that I say any stylish outfit must absolutely have. And if you're not a fan of the channel, what are you doing? If you've received any value thus far, subscribing helps more than you could possibly know and allows me to continue creating content to help you become the protagonist. And now we get to No Time to Die. <laughs> what a depressing cinema experience I had with this one. Anyway, we actually have to dip back into Spectre for a brief moment because No Time to Die's style secret lies in the difference between these two outfits. Can you see it yet? How about now? The pants in the No Time to Die outfit have a more middle of the road fit compared to the Spectre Sausage. And hilariously, if we go all the way back to Casino Royale, it's actually the opposite. The dude's got enough fabric in that tuxedo to jump out of a plane. It's tailored. So when we compare them all, the No Time to Die fit is the sweet spot between shrink wrapped bond and extra fabric bond. And it's this sweet spot where we find James Bond's next style secret, which is to be absolutely ruthless about getting a good fit. And what's great about this is if you nail it, you'll actually be able to dress better than Bond himself. But even if you implement James Bond's style secrets, there will still probably be parts of your style that you won't be 100% happy with. So make sure to watch this video to crush your style problems you might not know that you have, so you can finally reach your style potential. High School Musical 3 is a better film. 